What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC, and today I'm checking out the Booze Blade Smoke 2.0. And this is the Blade HQ exclusive version with the twill carbon fiber and the green titanium on the non show side. They also had a marble carbon fiber, as well as five or six different colors that were all Blade HQ exclusives, so a lot of options there. This exact color variation with the twill carbon fiber and the green titanium is available on the mini smoke as well. And that one's not an exclusive, but will run you $240. This version was on sale for National Knife Day. And again, it's Blade HQ exclusive, so obviously I ordered it through Blade HQ, but was on sale for only $99, which I think is a steal for this knife. In fact, I've wanted this knife for quite a while, and you don't usually see it for under $200. So at $99, really, really great deal. Right now you can get the all titanium gray version for on sale for $200 and the all titanium green version or purple version if you prefer for $240. So again, $99 really is a steal for this. And I wasn't planning on buying anything for National Knife Day, but couldn't resist when I saw that this one was on sale. Now it is a front flipper, which isn't necessarily my favorite means of deployment, but really smooth and works really well. Just doesn't feel super natural for my thumb, but I don't have a lot of front flippers. So if you're someone who is used to front flippers, it might feel a little bit more natural for you and that's fine. But for me, it feels a little bit unnatural, but it works really well and is extremely smooth. It is a frame lock and again, Nice access to that and extremely smooth. You do have this cutout here though that doubles as a thumb hole. I'm not able to use it to thumb flick just because my thumb's way too wide to fit in there unless I angle it really weirdly, but it is give you it does give you perfect access to spidey flick it. And that works really well and is probably my preferred method of deployment to be honest. Now on the show side you have this carbon fiber scale and it has this really nice cutout which is probably just meant to save some weight but also has a nice little window here that shows the titanium i like that you can see that kind of pop of color when it's open and i think that looks really nice even though that's probably not the reason for it being there but the steel on this is a bead blasted m390 and so obviously it looks really good, like the bead blasting quite a bit, and M390 is a great steal, especially at this price point of $99. 3.625 inches on the blade, so relatively long blade there, and even longer handle at four and a half inches, so you're able to get a full four finger grip. Ergos on this are excellent, it's a super comfortable knife to carry. The jimping is very effective, it's not super subtle, and no real hot spots to speak of. You don't feel the pocket clip whatsoever. And you do feel this cutout just a little bit, but it almost feels like it's adding a little bit to the grip. Not sure what it is, but it feels like you're a little bit more secure. Definitely not a hot spot, even though you do feel it in your fingers. The pivot on here is pretty cool looking. Just a normal pivot on the back, non-show side, but on the show side, you have this kind of triangular pivot that's not gonna spin on you at all. So don't have to worry about having two tools there. And again, super smooth action. I believe it's on bearings. I'm not positive, I haven't opened it up yet, but I believe it is on bearings. You have the color match backspacer, which is kind of floating there in the middle and a 3D milled pocket clip that is right hand tip up only, unfortunately not reversible, relatively deep carry, but about maybe half an inch or so exposed when you use that pocket clip. A little bit larger than I would typically want for an EDC knife, but it's so, small, skinny, and lightweight that it definitely works well as an EDC knife and is something that disappears in your pocket. Only 2.38 ounces on this carbon fiber scale version. I believe the titanium version is 2.85 ounces. So you're saving about half, half an ounce there. And it's super lightweight. Like I said, it disappears in your pocket and really, really great EDC knife. No lanyard hole on this version, although I believe the original version did have a lanyard hole. They eliminated that in version two. And so overall, a really great knife, really kind of long and skinny, great look to it. Love the color on the green titanium, obviously. Your color preferences may change. I actually really like the purple version that they have and don't know that I like it enough to pay $240 now that I got this one for 99, but really do like the purple titanium version. So if I ever see that one on a good enough sale, I may pick it up at some point, but super cool knife and got a couple freebies on, because it was national knife day, you got the nice stickers, Pelt K-N-I-C-E, as well as this 
beehive patch with uh, being stabbed with honey leaking out. Not sure if that's symbolic of anything or if there's a reason for the beehive for National Knife Day or if it was just kind of a fun patch that they did. But good looking patch and it was free so can't complain about that. But let me know what you think about the booze blade smoke down in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and as always hope you have a great one. Take care.